The Academy has been really successful. Um, I think the guys have really enjoyed it. We've enjoyed having them here. Um, I think it's really been invaluable for them to actually come in and get that experience sitting with the senior staff. Putting that into practice on an actual project has been amazing for them, I think. You know, Real Time UK does a lot of investment in terms of bringing fresh talent into the studio. The guys wanted to do a little bit more. One of the key things that we wanted to do was actually be able to develop these people. We obviously wanted to go into the universities themselves to work out how we can actually move forward, maybe helping with modules and then obviously giving the students experience when they come to the studio. Uh, the response we got from universities, colleges and educational institutions was it was really, really good. It couldn't have been better actually. Uh, so much so that they want to get more involved with us um, as, as we move forward and see how we can develop things together. The biggest take home from Real Time UK Academy has been matte paintings because I've never really done matte painting before and matte projections. So that's definitely something that has improve my work. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a very good experience in terms of being in a studio with a, an actual professional who's around you doing work and I think that's the best way to learn than just being at home and learning by yourself. I, I recommend coming to the academy because it's, uh, it's a very rich experience for students that just come out of school and, and want to have a peek in the real world. We created a brief that would test the uh, Academy people in terms of creativity as well as technical skills. The brief was basically to create an environment that had a, an object within that environment that, that asked a question of the viewer. So as well as creating a beautiful technical environment, they also had to kind of think about it from an artistic point of view. They've all done like, there's a different range of images that they've done. It's not, it's not like they've all produced a similar kind of piece of artwork. Yeah, that was the best part for me was seeing where each of them reacted differently to the same brief. So the, in, a, in a studio like Real Time where we're all about generalist mentality and all about all hands on deck and you know overlaps between skill sets, that's kind of exactly what we look for in a person. They've had four weeks to create this shot from start to finish, which in terms of a schedule with it within a, another you know like learning facility would probably be really, really tight. But for us, that's a generous, yeah. that's, a, that's a generous amount of time. Where do you focus your resources? This, yeah. That's such an important thing because you will find you'll get artists that will get caught up in the small asset build and actually you know, it occupies 10% of the image. And... It's not just about making a great image, it's about knowing that you have a month to do it, like in their case. So you're not just going to throw everything in there, you're going to have to realise that I actually need to finish this. So it's all about managing yourself as well, and that's one of the most difficult things as an artist.